In this last prepping video, step number 4, the separation of numbered headings from RFP text. We will demonstrate how our software can automatically separate the RFP paragraph text, like shown here, from the numbered headings, all with just a few button clicks. To start the process, click the button for step 4. Then click the start button on the pop-up dialog box. Give the file a name. Then just relax, and let the software do its job. The software will begin to shade the affected paragraphs with a pale yellow color. This entire process only takes a few seconds. Once complete, you are now able to go back to those shaded paragraphs, and add the appropriate titles. Some titles will be very apparent, and all you would need to do is select the title from the beginning of the paragraph, then cut and paste it over the placeholder text in the heading row, as demonstrated here. In other places, depending on how the RFP was written, the titles may not be as apparent, so you will have to read the paragraph or paragraphs for content, and give it a title yourself. Just note that this process is subjective, and two different people may come up with completely different titles. There is one final tagging feature, that I want to tell you about. Let's take a look at an example. After you have finished adding all the titles to the shaded areas, you can now insert placeholders throughout the prepped RFP, by simply adding the placeholder text, and then bolding those paragraphs. For example, you could add text in the area of the RFP where your cover page, title page, compliance matrix and acronym list will be located, in your printed volumes. If there is something specific that you want, or need an author to know, pertaining to a specific section or sections, you can type a note placeholder in those designated sections. You can have other placeholders for other things, like, tab names, win themes, benefits to your customer, the ghosting of your competition, page count limits, or author assignments, just to name a few. Just as long as you bold those paragraphs, they will be propagated throughout all of our artifacts, like our compliance matrices, proposal managers outlines, requirement mapping reports, and our annotated outlined master authors documents. All of this information, is spelled out in the footer of our prepped RFP documents. In our next several videos, we will show you how these prepped RFP documents, can be used to automatically build our artifacts, with little to no interaction, from the end user. Well, that's it for this video. Goodbye.